Well, dual sieve part two. Um, it's actually still going at under four, 0 0.4 volts, 0 0.3991 volts. Still glowing. It's not efficient, but it doesn't matter. Um, I built another little circuit. I did that ages ago. It's in an older video, 10, 15, 10 years ago or so. Uh, put a few more turns on a particular call and uh, went a little flip flop off this uh, dual sieve. It was suggested by one of my subscribers uh, to put a capacitor in parallel with the battery, I think, so I'm going to do that. I got a uh, 1000 micro capacitor here. Let's have a look at the label. This. There we go. Come on. 1000 puff, and we're going to put it in parallel and see if that makes any difference. Yeah, the light output is almost non existent. I'll just turn the main light off. Yeah, it's still a bit of light there. Actually, not too bad. That's one on one volts. That's the one I built yesterday, and this is uh, still on uh, just below 0 0.4 volts. And the other one is yeah, going quite nice. Actually, pretty good. Building a little jiffy box. I'm just winding a call here on an uh, old TV flyback uh, transformator and see if I can get any use out of that. Um, these are going to be the two calls for the dual sieve. See if I get any little arc out of here or any useful high voltage. Just experimental. Most likely going to fail, so we'll see what happens. Well, I want this call on the uh, flyback transformator, and surprisingly it actually works. Uh, not that I get power out of it, uh, but enough to get the LED, so the ferrite unit from itself seems to do the job. Larger ferrite core. core. LED burns quite wide. So, yeah, uh, I did all the tests, tried to get an arc out of it, but there's no, no arc of course, there's not enough power, so you need to do it was a Mazzilli oscillator, but yeah, you could um, actually use for this an uh, old flyback core, a fer ferrite, put a clip, the, uh, the spring clip on the outside, otherwise you get more losses. Although I don't think in a low power application it's uh, going to be an issue. Well, I'm just, um, just dicking around a bit with these things, I might as well add this in here. I'm just taking one of these uh, power supplies out of one of these inverter microwaves. Um, got some nice di powerful diodes on there, a couple of high voltage capacitors, and then this inductor device, uh, got quite big wires, so I'm not sure how it actually works, it broke a piece off the board, so I'm going to take it apart, oh, well it yields uh, these nice ferule, ferules, toroids, can be used for something, filtering, this one, and uh, as was commented on another video, I'm going to unsolder all these devices as well from this board, which I blew up a while ago. So yeah, don't let things throw these things away, even though I'm probably never going to use them again. So yeah, be with me, and um, I'll strip some parts out of the device. Okay, before um, I'll take the thing apart a bit further, I'll just uh, analyze this. I see the HV windings are these two white insulated sleeves. Let's go to the diet stack. So they seem to come terminal here and a terminal on these two terminals that's where these uh, wires end out so they come out of the HV side which is obviously in the lower part of this call and the high current ones are this and that one so they come from the thick wires from the call via the MOSFETs so I'm just gonna have a bit closer look at that well, was absolutely crap today, so I ended up using the heat gun and uh, got these parts off. And analyzed it a bit more, and uh, yeah, most of the parts, especially the inductors. Yeah, the weather is quite crap, so uh, look out here, it's just uh, pretty grim. Take these inside. So I've removed some parts out of these boards, there's a couple of good capacitors in here. These diodes, I'm not sure, they don't seem to measure continuity. These capacitors are good. 
I've got these big inductors here. High current devices. This capacitor is good here. Got a nice IEC socket. This one is quite cool. They've got actually uh, fuses at the back as well. So it's an active fuse in a uh, neutral fuse. Got it handy for some little projects. I've got these other inductors. A few more of these coils I got out. Oh yeah, the big coil here. Um, this is the low current, the big winding. And there appears to be some windings here. This is continuity. Um, I just want to see if there's any use this thing. It appears to be the HV coilers in the middle here and then the LV coilers on the outside. So this is that thing out of the inverter microwave uh, device. Uh, and that's uh, 20 S20. It's a 20 uh, KA MOV. Uh, a few more other parts here. I didn't take it all out, I got them enough junk in here. These are all good, these ceramic uh, power resistors, they're good quality ones. And of this board, uh, which doesn't surprise me, with the abuse, the rectifier is okay, these MOSFETs are dodgy, they have uh, popped. But I'm not worried about it, I've got enough stuff. So what's the best thing to do on these COVID-19 things? It's just build some dual thieves. Build some dual thieves and uh, fiddle around with some electronics today. Good thing is I found a couple of lithium cells which have expired, so they'll be awaiting better weather, and then we can pop these. So uh, stay tuned for those.